हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन टू गेट अपडेट्स ऑफ माय वीडियोस सो टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू डिजाइन दिस फूड मेन्यू इन कोरल रो सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो दिस इज द साइज ऑफ आवर फूड मेन्यू 8.5 बाय 11 नाउ फर्स्ट वी विल सेलेक्ट द रेक्टेंगल टूल फ्रॉम द टूल बार एंड वी विल ड्रॉ अ रेक्टेंगल Now we will set the size of the rectangle 8.5 by 11. Now we will set the align of the rectangle. First we will click on specified point then align center horizontally and align center vertically. Now we we'll select this rectangle and we will make a copy by drag and right click. Now we have these images. Now first we will select this wood image and we will increase the size. Now we'll right click on this image and we will select power clip inside. Now I'll click on this rectangle. Now we'll remove the outline by right click. Now we'll select this rectangle and we will fill black color. Now we'll select both the rectangles and we will press C to align center. Now we'll select this black rectangle and we will drag like this. Then we will right click to make a copy. Now we'll change the color of this rectangle. Now we'll select this black rectangle and we will adjust the size. Now we'll select this black rectangle. and we will select the transparency tool from the toolbar and we will apply on this rectangle now we will keep the transparency 30 now similarly we will apply the transparency on this yellow rectangle and similarly we will keep the transparency 30 now we we'll select both and we will remove the outline now we we'll select this black rectangle and we will drag like this now we we'll right click to make a copy now again we will change the color now we'll adjust the size of the black rectangle now we'll select this and we will apply interactive fill tool now we'll select fountain fill now we'll select elliptical fountain fill now we will adjust this Now we we'll select this burger image and we will place here like this. Now we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a small rectangle like this. Now we'll fill white color and we will remove the outline. Now we'll select this and we will go to the effects menu and we will select creative then we will select frame. Now we'll select this frame. Now we'll click on okay. Now we'll select the crop tool from the toolbar and we will select this white area only and we will click on crop. Now we will increase the size. Now we'll go to the bitmap menu and we will select convert to bitmap. Now I'll click on okay. Now again we will select the crop tool and we will crop this area. Now we'll place here. Now we will rotate. Now we'll adjust the size. Now we will drag and we will make two copies like this and now we will adjust the position Now we we'll select all three and we will adjust the size
I will select this leaf image and we will place here. Now we will rotate and we will adjust the size. Now we will make one copy and we will place like this. Now we will make one more copy and we will place here. We will select and rotate like this. Now we have this details. Now we will place all this. First we will place the logo on this corner. You can see the font style of this text. Now we will change the color. Now we will place here. Now we will select and we will rotate. We will double click. Then we will rotate. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will select the black shadow tool from the toolbar and we will apply on this text. Now we will adjust the black shadow tool. Now we place this text. Now we will select all three and we will press E to align. Now we will click on align and distribute option and we will distribute like this. Now we will select the two point line tool from the toolbar and we will draw a straight line. Now we will give a white color to outline. Now we will select the line style. Now we will increase the size of the line. Now we will select both of this text and we will group. Now we will select the line and the text. Now we will press C to align center. Now we will ungroup this text. Now we will select the other two text and we will select group option. Now we will select the line and the text now we will press C to align center now we'll place this details of the food now we'll give a white color here you can see food name will come here and the details and the price Now we will adjust the text. Now we will select the line and we will increase the size. Now we will select this text and we will adjust. Now we will select and we will drag and right click to make a copy. Now we will press Ctrl R to make more copies. Now we will select all these text and we will make a copy by drag and right click. Like this we will write all the details of the code. Now we'll place this heading and we will change the color. Now 
now we'll make a copy of this line by drag and right click now we'll adjust the size now we'll select this text and this background and press it to align center now similarly we will align the line also now we'll select the rectangle tool and we will draw a small rectangle now we'll select this image and we will right click and select power fill tensor and now we'll place the image in the rectangle now we will adjust the image now we'll click on finish now we'll place this image now we'll give a white color to the outline now we'll increase the size of the outline Now we'll select the details and we will place here. Now we'll select all this and we will make a copies by drag and right click then we will press Ctrl R. So guys like this you can place different images in these rectangles. I am just using one image for saving time now we'll drag and right click to make copies now we'll place this text here now we'll change the color now we'll select all these contact details and we will place on the bottom we will write contact details address contact number and the website so guys our food menu design is ready i hope you like the design if you have any question regarding this tutorial you can ask me on the comment box Please like, share and comments and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get updates of my videos. Thanks for watching.